introduce is a, uh, a young worker, a member of Unite, Lucille Harvey. Young people in Britain are under attack. When this government came to power, they said they needed to tackle the deficit now, so they don't shackle future generations with debt. But the harsh reality is that this government's austerity program is killing our life chances now. Youth services slack, tuition fees treble, housing benefits for under 25 gone. EMA scrap, forced unpaid labour through workforce, an unprecedented youth unemployment crisis with one million young people unemployed and one in five looking but unable to secure employment. This government are balancing the books on the back of Britain's young people and are damning our futures in the process. We are in danger of becoming a lost generation. Things don't have to be this way. Bad political decisions by a government that prioritises protecting bankers' bonuses over educational maintenance allowance for the UK's poorest students created this mess. We can change it if we're not despondent. Today we are remembering two great comrades, Tony Benn and Bob Crowe. Tony Benn once said, hope is the fuel of progress and fear is the prison which you put yourself in. Benn was a firm believer that real change could only come from below and the apathy of working people encouraged by those in positions of power was the enemy of social change. He told us to take courage in working people's struggles from the past. The fight for the eight hour working day, the end of child labour, votes for women. And just yesterday, here in Trafalgar Square, thousands of South African expats queued for hours to cast their votes in free and fair elections in a democratic South Africa. All these struggles seemed impossible until they were won. In tribute to Tony and Bob, we should heed their calls for action. As young people, we must be engaged and organised. We need to join our trade unions, be politically active, and encourage our friends and colleagues to do the same. But the responsibility doesn't lie with us solely. We need our trade unions to respect young people currently in their structures, reach out to new young workers, organise in the places we work, retail, food and accommodation services, private sector companies, all of which currently have low union density. And lastly, we need our trade unions to educate and train young people to help us become strong activists for today and for the future. International Workers' Day is the day we remember the struggle comrades before us fought for and won against the establishment. Our history shows us that by standing together in solidarity, we can secure a fairer, more equal world for working people. Finally, as we leave today, let's keep Tony Benn's words with us. No one with power likes democracy. And that is why every generation must struggle to win it and keep it, including you and me here and now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lucille. Uh, as I said, I'm chairing the first half of the rally, and that's now come to an end.